uh, for your introduction. And first of all, I would like to thank the organizer for very nice invitation uh, and for organizing a wonderful workshop in celebration uh, Professor Maria Fongso and Professor Laurent. Even that I uh, I haven't uh, met the uh, two professors in person, but hopefully after but a bit, uh, so we can we can meet each other in person. Hopefully. So today my talk is about the similarity formation in nonlinear evolution equation. So first of all, let me explain what the similarity formation and so formally the similarity formation you can understand. You start with a perfectly smooth initial data, and after some time, an uh, infinite uh, show up in a solution, or in many cases, uh, in, uh, in uh, it's the uh, derivative, like uh, the talk in mentioned in the talk of Professor uh, Botera. And uh, this is a formal pictures. So today, my talk is uh, will give you, this is outline of my talk. First of all, I will give you a uh, a quick introduction of what uh, we will, what model we were talking about, and then I will mention uh, how to construct uh, a plot of solution, a singular solution, and how to study the sub stability. And uh, I will give you, uh, I will give you uh, last three uh, some contribution from last three years, and uh, some uh, I end up with some interesting project uh, problem. So first of all, I let, let me uh, start with some motivation why the singularity, singularity formation is important in our community. So from the applied point of view, we know that uh, the study singularity formation is very important to, to understanding the physical limitation of the mathematical model. Because uh, so the basic question is that can the equation only way do that job or uh, the, the equation on ways uh, to work. So it means that uh, to understand when we know precisely the, the similarity formation, we will know what the additional condition or physical aspect uh, need to be taken into account to have a, a proper model. The second motivation is uh, the similarity also uh, physical relevant in many situations in natural science. Like we can see the concentration of blaze have been in that, and in our community we we have the plot of phenomena in nonlinear Schrodinger equation, and we also have uh, the concentration phenomena of energies, the smaller scale in fluid mechanics, or concentration of density of bacteria population, that I will mention uh, shortly. And from the mathematical point of view, we we know that when we work on the energy of PDEs. One of the significant question is the long time dynamic of solution. However, we know in many cases the solution may develop a similarity in finite time. And uh, the question is how can we extend the solution beyond their similarity? So this uh, brings us to, to the question of the uh, understanding the precisely the singularity dynamic similarity formation of the solution before we try to attempt to extend a solution beyond their singularity. And also the study, the singularity also requests some, some neutron to handle many delicate problems. For example, the stability, not, the stability here is not uh, allow a, a solution, but it's a family of special solution. And also the classification on possi possible unsympathetic behavior on, also challenging question. Of course, uh, we also have some numerical uh, uh, challenging uh, to to detect the similarity or to verify the theoretical per result obtained. So today, my talk uh, I will uh, present three uh, example. The first one is the reaction diffusion equation, which is written in terms of system. Here, U and V stand for, you can see it's U and V stand for the concentration of chemical, or U and V uh, stand for, U stand for the temperature, and V stand for the concentration of gas. And here we take into account that uh, the mu, the diffusive constant is not equal. So that mu can take the uh, arbitrary positive. 
The second, the second model uh, we want to talk about is the harmonic flow and wave map belong to a geometric evolution equation. And the, the last, the, the third one is uh, so-called the classical uh, Keller-Siegen system. And here, this is the very, this is a simplified model uh, of, uh, of the Keller-Siegen system. <coughs> in, this, in this system, you stand for the density of, uh, of the scale or density of material. And uh, capital five sub you stand for the chemical concentration of chemical signal. And uh, this system is used to, to describe um, a phenomena so-called a chemotaxis in bi biology. So what does it mean of chemotaxis in biology? It means that the, it, 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 uh, the chemotaxis describes a movement of cell to work to the higher concentration of chemical signal. And uh, this model also serves as a continuum model to describe the interacting many particle system. So today we will talk about the similarity of the solution in some BDEs. So here I want to show you what is the significant question in our community. There, there are so many questions about uh, the study of singularity formation, but we can divide into into class of uh, into group of question. First, is the assistant given a, a model. And uh, the question is that there is a plot of solution from a, from a smooth initial data. And the second class of uh, question is about the description. When we know that there is a plot of solution, a singular solution, how can we describe precisely the dynamic of a solution near singularity? There are many important uh, questions about the description like classification on possible and synthetic behavior. And uh, and for the for the assistant for the assistant question, we have uh, as of now we know there are many methods like we can rely on a numerical observation, or we can use some objective argument based on some uh, NFC estimate. But uh, this uh, the objective argument will give you so less information or no information about how the, how plow up happen or how singularity occurs. We also rely on a constructive approach. This method will give you more information about the unsynthetic behavior of the solution. And today we will talk about, I will talk about the constructive approach to show that there is system plot solution for three particular uh, models. So let me move on to the second part, the constructive approach. So the basic question is that given, given a, a mathematical model, we want to ask that whether or not there exists a plow up solution uh, from the initial data, from, from a perfectly smooth initial data. And how about the stability of the plow up solution for effective uh, initial data? So as I just mentioned before that, we can rely on the objective argument based on some energy identity but this one only, only give you the assistant question, but to give you no plot of dynamic. So about a constructive approach, will, um, it's more complicated, but we'll give you both assistant and also give you the dynamic, give you precisely information near singularity. There are many people also working on, on this, uh, this approach from the last, I mean, 20 or 30 years ago. And I mean that there's so many people working and different model from parallel to hyperbolic to dispensive uh, models. Okay, so let me mention quickly about uh, the, the, the method, how the constructive approach work. So for the constructive approach, we, we can sit in two step procedures. The first one, we need to find a good approximate solution of the model and then the natural step we linearize around this, uh, this good candidate, this good approximate solution, and we need to control the remainder, which is the infinite uh, dimensional uh, problem. So to control the remainder, we, up to my knowledge, as now we have uh, four techniques to do that. 
first the so-called modulation technique uh, uh, developed by Kenneth Mack, Raphael McCann, and many uh, co-authors. This technique will give you the existence and stability of the solution. The second one is so-called inner outer gluing method uh, developed by Dembino, Jun Chang Wei, Musu Davia, and co-author. Also, this technique is also give you the system and stability. The, the third one is so-called interactive technique developed by Krieger, Slack, and Tataru. This will give you the system, but the question about the stability is uh, it's not clear for me. And uh, the one I would like to talk about is the spectral analysis. This one will give you both system and stability of a solution in a natural way and also give you, a, which is also the, the stability, the spectral analysis also give you a hint toward to the classification question. And today I will rely on, I will rely on this technique to construct a plot of solution for three particular assemblies. And some additional steps like solving the finite dimensional problem if, uh, if we need. So let me first mention about the research uh, concerns of the non-variational non uh, parabolic system. So from the mathematical analysis, we see that the system, the, because of the nonlinearity, have uh, no variation structures. So the inequality method breaks down. And here we consider the the the, the, co, the diffusive constant is different from one, so it uh, will break any symmetry of the problem, symmetry of the problem. And also, when we perform the linearized uh, uh, linearization around the approximate solution, will give you a linear operator which is not self choice even for the k mu equal to one. And there, there's some existing literature for this uh, type of uh, system given by R.G. Hero and Valetkes, which is uh, uh, a describe of the plot solution for the case mu equal to one. And then the work by Suple and uh, co uh, to describe the, the asymptotic behavior of a solution near single, single point plot. And also the work by my uh, PD uh, supervisor, Hatam Zak, uh, who established some Liouville theorem for this system, but um, mainly for the case of mu equal to one. So, so with the, uh, with the uh, uh, Tessalin Gus uh, and Hatam Zak, we are able to establish a finite time plow uh, for the system is so called a Taiwan plow up. Here, the Taiwan plow up is mean that uh, the, the time the derivative is dominate the diffusive, and uh, which means that uh, we, we know the plow up of the solution, but uh, the profile we still unknown. So, what does it mean of Taiwan plow up here precisely? So, the Taiwan plow up is mean that the plow up of the solution is given. It, or it's the same as the associated ODE, which is given by, by this phrase. And uh, here we have some uh, power to unfund. The number unfund beta depends on the power nonlinearity P and Q. So what the theorem tells you, so here we are able to show that there exists the open set of initial data, such that the system plow up in finite time and satisfy this asymptotic uh, behavior. Here we, we need to, I want to mention about the profile. Here we have the plot of variables. The banner is not self similar, but we have some block correction given by this one. And here the profile is actually given by, by, this, uh, by this formula, where some depend on some uh, parameter constant B can be computed. It basically depends on P and Q and mu. And the second thing in the theorem tells you that this solution, that type of solution we can trust is stable under perturbation of initial data. So we have some remark that uh, we can construct other uh, plot solutions, satisfy other uh, unsuitable behavior, but uh, they are supposed to be unstable. 
and I will mention it uh, shortly. And the question about whether or not there is a title plot solution is remain uh, open. And it's also an interesting question we, we need to answer. So let, now let me move on to how can we, how can we prove it? And uh, the, here I, I will show you the two, I will use the two step procedures. First of all, we need to construct a good approximate solution and then we need to rely on on some technique to control the remainder. So how can we construct a good approximate solution? So as we know that the Taiwan plow up, we are concerned the Taiwan plow up, which is we know the plow up rate. So it's very natural that we scale the solution uh, to the order of, uh, to, to the order one. And by, by consider this transformation, here it means that we, we, we make a zoom of the solution near the, near the plot point and we slow down the time. And as a result, we write, it and write a new system. The new system is almost the same, but uh, we have some additional uh, scaling term. So this term is mainly uh, coming from when we take time derivative uh, here, here. This, this term is coming from when we take time derivative here and this guy when we take time derivative of this guy. And when you look at this system, the new system, we, we see that we have the, the trivial non-zero constant solution given by capital gamma and small gamma. And the na natural step that we need to linearize around this uh, non-zero constant solution to obtain the linearized equation. And uh, in short, the linearized equation certified given by this one. Here the linearized operator, S plus M, uh, we can obtain the recite the spectrum of the linear operator, which it consists in, we have two positive eigenvalue, one and one half, and then a zero eigenvalue, and after that, the infinite uh, many discrete ne negative spectrum. And then when we choose, we, now we choose, we need to refine more the approximate solution, we, we don't want the, the approximation solution to be the constant solution. So we need to refine more. And then if we take the zero multi-dominant, it means that we, we take the solution of this form where F2 and G2 is the Hermit uh, uh, binomial and the eigenvalue, uh, eigenfunction corresponds to the eigenvalue zero. When we plug in this one to the system and we project under the, the, the zero mode, we will end, end up with this ODA, the leading ODA. And this ODA is easy to give you the solution we take like one over S. And then we put back this uh, approximate solution, we can find uh, the, the expansion for the inner zone. I mean, uh, in the comeback set. That inner solution will give you this one. And from this one, it will give you the plot of variable appear, which is depend on, it's not so similar, but it depend, we have some block correction when we come back to original variable. So a little further, we explain why the plot of variable depend on some block correction. And then when we have the plot of variables, we can find the shape of the profile. So it means that we can find the profile, certify this, uh, this expansions, and at the leading order, the capital of uh, V0 and C0 satisfy the system, this ODA system. And this ODA system can be solved explicitly with the initial data given by this one. And here the profile here is depend on one free parameter B. And then to compute the free parameter B, we need to match with the inner solution we, we just computed here. And then we can compute precisely what the constant be. So here we have finished how can we compute a good approximate solution which is given by capital V0 and capital C0. And now we move to the second part, how can we control the remainder? This means that we linearize. So now the problem is reduced to, to reconstruct a global in time solution, uh, lambda and epsilon that will go to zero when s go to infinity. And uh, the lambda and 
and epsilon satisfy this uh, linearized uh, equation because here we have uh, the profile is no longer constant, we have uh, some potential term here. Okay, so because of the solution will go to zero, we want them to go to zero when s go to infinity. So this means that the effect of the nonlinearity of the firm volatile term can be neglectable. So it means that the linear part will play an important role uh, to control the remainder. So we have the observation, two observations. So for the outer, for the outer zone, it means when y greater than uh, square of s, we know that the linear operator had fully negative spectrum. So in some sense that we control the solution in this zone uh, is, is simple because we have the the exponential decay. However, for the inner zone, when y less than square of s, the potential v is the approximation of the linear operator as bit n. So we need to decompose the solution according to the eigen eigen function of the linear operator. So it means that we need to decompose the solution of this form. And here we we have the lambda minus and epsilon minus correspond to the projection of the solution to the negative uh, uh, to the negative mode, I mean the negative mode, and which will give you lambda negative and epsilon negative can be controlled to zero without any difficulty. So now we need to control the, the theta zero, theta one, theta two. So we just project uh, between the, the answer the decomposition to the equation and project on the first three modes and we end up with the ODA satisfied by by theta 2 and we're with uh, some transformation in time by tau equal to log, uh, log s we saw that uh, the theta 2 is decayed so it means that the theta 2 is controlled up to 0 as well so now the problem is only reduced to control of two parameters, theta zero and theta two direction, theta zero and theta one. And here we need to play with the initial data. So that we need to consider the initial data depend on two parameters, d zero and d one, which is of this form. Here f zero and g zero, f one, g one is the first two eigen function of the linear operator. And then we can use some con contradiction argument to, to solve the system of the two parameters d0, d1, such that the theta 0 and theta 1 convert to 0 when s goes to infinity. And this uh, will give you finish the proof of a system proof. And about the stability, the, st the stability is directly from the system proof because we have uh, the, the space time translation invariant which means that the space time translation invariant we, we can it means that we can relax a little bit of plot time and we can relax a plot point to be able to control the theta zero theta one to zero and we also have the scaling invariant so that we can control the 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 the, the zero the zero mode and for the negative mode or we on on way control to zero. So there's some flexibility in our method and it can apply for more complex uh, model like the Gilbert Lando or some other non-linearity. So uh, any questions so far? So if not, uh, I will move to the second part about uh, the harmonic heat flow and wave map. So the two, the two different uh, that the main difference between the, the harmonic heat flow and wave map is that the harmonic heat flow is parabolic and of course dispersive. And the wave map is time reversible and, and non dispersive. What does it mean? It means that when time rotates, the surface under the harmonic map uh, has less energy and smoother. And for the, the, the surface under the wave map, uh, have the the energy is, is, is still the same for the, for the wave map, uh, for, the, for the surface under the wave map uh, equation. So today I will mention about uh, the existence of cloud solution 
for a class of the of the co-rotational solution, uh, which is we take the solution, consider the solution of this form, and we will turn the equation, the harmonic cloud to this similarly equation, and we'll turn the wave map equation to this similarly wave equation with singular nonlinearity. And here we the local the local where motion is uh, uh, result uh, have been obtained uh, long time ago by uh, Stu Guan and many authors. Also, we know that for, for this model we have uh, we may have the the we we have the plot of solution we have the plot of solution in finite time, and it has been solved by many authors like Kong, Chen Ding. Chen Yingyi and Shaka. So when we talk about the similarity of plow up solution, we need to distinguish between the Taiwan type to plow up. So what does it mean here? Yeah. So Taiwan plow up is mean that the, the plow up price of the of the derivative is like self similar. It's self similar. Here we need to pay attention that uh, the solution is bounded, but its derivative is uh, a plow up. In finite time, and uh, we we have uh, more precisely information about the Taiwan and Taito plow up in the sense that, so we know that uh, from source he proved that if the Taiwan the Taiwan plow up have to be be unsympathetic like self similar, and uh, for the harmonic heat flow and for the wave map. In dimension d equal to two, the plow up is not non self similar. And in the, for the dimension between three and six, uh, we have a system of the family of the self similar solution proved by uh, by Fan. And so the same situation happened for the wave map. And we know that for the happening flow for dimension d greater than seven. We there no exist of the self similar solution. Now this means that then and when we combine with the result of two, we, we know that no Taiwan plot up for the half flow for dimension d greater than seven. However, for the wave map, we know we have the explicit uh, self similar solution given by this formula for all dimension d greater than three. So all of the result can be summarized in the table. So in dimension you know, two, for the harmonic heat flow, we we don't have a Taiwan plow up for both equation, but we do have the type two plow up for both harmonic heat flow and wave map. And in, for the dimension between three and six, because we have the elliptic uh, uh, elliptic formulas, uh, elliptic um, self similar solution for both equations, so of course we have the Taiwan plow up. But the question about the title plot is still unknown uh, until now. And for dimension d greater than seven, we don't have a Taiwan plot for the harmonic heat flow, but we do have a Thai, Taiwan plot for the wave map. And today, for the last two years, we we give um, a positive uh, answer for for the question a system of the title plot for the both harmonic heat flow and wave map. So before mentioning staying uh, our result, let me mention some uh, mathematical uh, basic features of the two models. So we have the NFC identity for the harmonic heat flow, which is dispersive. And we have the conservation of the energy for the wave map, which is given by this one. So because of the scaling invariant of the problem, we, we, we see that in dimension d equal to two, uh, the energy is, is conserved under the scaling invariant and the same for the wave map. So this is why we call the dimension d equal to two is called energy critical. And for d greater than three, we call energy super critical. And we also know that there is the stationary solution, which is given explicitly by this formula in dimension two, and in dimension greater than seven, we know that the, the solution we have like like this, like p over two when r uh, go to infinity. Here the next order uh, depend on depend on uh, the dimension of the problem. 
Okay, so this is our result uh, with uh, uh, with President Yu and Slim Ibrahim uh, saying that there exists there exist a title plot of, for the harmonic heat flow. So what does it mean of title plot up here? Formally, the title plot up, uh, you can understand, you can you can see that the, the diffusion, the, the Laplace it dominates the, the time derivative. So in some sense that you know the profile, which is given by the scaling of stationary solution, but we actually don't know what the plot of the solution. So in the theorem, uh, we are able to establish the plot of solution from a perfectly smooth initial data, and the solution can be decomposed at a leading order by the scaling of the stationary solution, and the remainder can be controlled in some higher order subplanar. And here, the plot ray characterized by by this formula. Actually, the lambda t is not self similar rays because of the constant here n is certified this condition, which is is much more less than capital T, the same similar rate. And the second thing uh, in our result is, is that the, the solution we can choose is L minus one co-dimensional stable. It means that there, when N equal to one, the solution is actually stable under the perturbation of initial data. And uh, the, the, the type two plot of solution uh, have been to be exist in dimension two, so, Many years ago, by by Ralph and Squire, and uh, recently by David Adamino and Way in very long paper of more than one hundred twenty pages. So for the same situation happened for the wave map equation. It means that we saw the system of type two plot of solution, and from the perfectly smooth initial data and the solution also decomposed at the leading order by the given by the scaling by the scale stationary solution and the remainder can control in a higher superlatinum. And here the plot ray can be characterized by this by this formula. And of course this one is much more uh, it's not uh, the self similar rate. So we call it a type two plot. Of. And the contract solution is actually the M minus one co dimensional stable. And of course, you, you see that the two statements for the harmonic heat flow and wave map is very similar, but actually the proof is not very uh, really similar because we had a different structure. One from uh, one is the passive equation, one is a parabolic and one is hyperbolic uh, tip equation. Uh, I think I don't have much time to mention about uh, to discuss about the proof of the uh, two theorem. So, but if I do have time, I will come back to the proof, detail of the proof. So let me move on to the, to the Keller Sigan system that I'm very happy to, to tell you. So the Keller Sigan system, as I said before, to describe the thermotaxi in bio, biology and first discovered by Plack uh, and then uh, rigorously derived by Keller Sigan. And this model is a very, is a simplified model uh, proposed by Nanjulias. And you can see that this system also serves as the continuum model of interacting uh, many particle system, or considered as a diffusive limit of kinetic model. And of course, here, when you look at it, uh, this system, we had a competition between the the dispersion, the dispersion and the aberration, the nonlinearity. So I will I will show you. I will mention it shortly. And of course, this system have to, it's considered a rich model from the mathematical point of view. And you can apply, uh, you can change the potential field. It's not uh, Newtonian, but you can reply it by any uh, interval kernel. And you can uh, change this uh, one like for the middle and tip. Uh, right. So there are some basic features for the galaxy gain equation. So the the the, the galaxy gain equation can can be written in form of, in the divergent form. And here, five of these uh, is a log composition because we are in dimension two. And from this uh, from uh, from from this form, we we can see uh, directly that we had a mass conservation of the solution. And 
the equation also is high by the, the L1, so called the L1 scaling invariant, which means that under this scaling invariant, the, the L1 norm is still conserved. And of course, the U gamma is still solve the same equation. And here we have the free energy functional, which is, the, the, of course, this one you can easily obtain by writing the equation using this form. And we have the, the system of stationary solution for this equation, given which is the family of solution depend on two parameters. The lambda is the scaling parameter and A is uh, the, uh, the, the space tran translation. And this family uh, solution actually is uh, the, the minimum of the energy functionals for the class of the mass equal to A part and the uh, follower implicitly given by this one. So actually uh, the number A pi is uh, plays uh, important role in this, to distinguish between the, the global system and finite time flow of solution. And you look at here, so when the mass, the total mass of a solution is strictly less than A pi, we do have the solution is actually glo exists globally in time and it's spreading. This uh, proved by Bronze, Donbo, and Tatan in 2006. And the main proof relied on the free energy functional and the sharp log uh, had this uh, little host overlap inequality. Uh, the situation when m equal to a pi is uh, more complicated. But we do know that when the second momentum is finite, we have uh, the solution blows up in infinite time. It's not blow up in finite time, but blow up blows up in infinite time. Uh, this result is uh, solved by Blanche, Kayo, and Matt Mosley. And some explicit uh, example constructed by uh, Tyson Yu's and Matt Mosley for the radio class solution. And uh, just recently by Davia Denbino, Don Bo, Mosho, and Jun Cheng Wei for the full radio radios. So the two results is, uh, will give you the same the same plot phrase, the plot is expected to be, to be stable. And for M, for the when total mass is strictly greater than A pi, the solution blows up in finite time. And this result uh, has been proved by many authors. And you can see that the, from this uh, identity, the, the, second, the second momentum, the evolution of second momentum satisfies this this identity. And from this, you see that when m strictly greater than a pi, the right hand side is strictly negative. So this means that uh, the, if we start with the second momentum is finite, we, some sort of similarity uh, occurs in finite time. And some uh, elliptic uh, example given by, by Hero and Velikev and Ralph and Spider in the radio system where the plot rate solution given by just slightly about the, the self similar rate with some block correction here. So as you see here, from you can see uh, the competition between uh, the diffusion and non and uh, nonlinearity. And you see, first of all, by aspect of the diffusion, the solution spread, and then by aspect of nonlinearity, the solution concentrates at least for and form the plot of solution in finite time. And here we want to understand more precisely what the dynamic near, near, the, near the singularity. So in collaboration with Shakolo, Tessalin Yu, and Matt Mutis, we are able to, to establish the, the system of plot, finite time plot solution for the full non radial class solution. Here, we know. I, I want. I want to mention that there's no Taiwan plot for, for for the equation in dimension two. This means that uh, it's uh, the the plot solution is not self similar. So it means that the, it's a check that there is a type two plot, which, as I said before, that when type two plot of Q, we have some high, some clue that the Laplace and dominate the time derivative will give you the idea about the profile which is the scaling stationary solution. But we don't know the plot rate. 
So in this theorem, we are able to to solve the, the finite time block solution, which which decomposes at a leading order by the scaling statutory solution, and the remainder can be controlled in some uh, as one uh, space function. And here the the plot price we we have a refined plot price obtained by Ralph and Schreier and Hero Velasquez. And we also obtain a new a new plot dynamic which is correspond to this rate. And actually, so we also solve that of the k one correspond to the stable plot dynamic, and k two is highly unstable. So by this, uh, by solving this result, we are able to remove, uh, uh, the, okay, improve the, the 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 early result by. Uh, by Ralph and Swire only work on the radio system and with some L1 small lead and uh, some extra condition. But here you see that the, we only rely on the condition that you see the, the remainders have uh, an arbitrary mass but have to be fast enough uh, far away from the con concentrate point. Okay, so formally you can see so how the plot dynamic happened for the galaxy again. Here the radius, the radius of the concentration given by lambda can, can be given either by this uh, formula just about slightly about the same similar rate or given by this one. And the plot rate is given by one over lambda square given by the scaling invariant of the problem. So the I would like to mention some command on the existing result. So up to my knowledge, the existing result on, only at the formal level from the numerical observation, from the formal machine asymptotic expansion, or the reverse one in the radio system. Because in the radio system, we can remove the non-local structure difficulty by introducing the partial mass system, which is that we introduce this, uh, this transformation and then actually the, the equation can be transformed to the semi-linear heat equation with singular nonlinearity. And basic on this equation, uh, man, the finite time plot uh, had been established by Hero Velasquez and Square and Rafa and, and many authors. And, and our new result is uh, for the full non system and we have a better description of the stable plot dynamic, and we obtain a new unstable unstable plot dynamic, and which also we rely on a natural approach, basic on a spectral analytic, to obtain the law of the of the of the plot. So, the rest of my time, I will mention about the strategy the strategy of uh, of the proof. So we are mainly working on a same similar variable. Which is uh, this uh, change, we apply this transformation. And because we know that uh, we don't have a Taiwan plot, it means that this equation, this same similar equation, will have the unbounded solution. We need to compute for this equation unbounded solution, uh, the global solution, but unbounded. And then, at, uh, we, we, at we saw in, in the theorem that the, at the leading order, the, the solution is given by scaling stationary solution. So it's natural that we, we take the decomposition, this linearization about the scaling stationary solution. Here, new is some unknown parameter go to zero. And when we perform this linearization, we end up with a linearized problem. And then here, the linear right operator have uh, a complicated, more complicated uh, structure, which is, uh, can be written by n new, by n zero equal to n zero and minus some, some scaling term here, one half a and uh, this scaling term. And we had a special structure of the n zero new, rely can be written in the diversion form. And this spectral structure, uh, especially, is coming from the linear region of the energy functional around the stationary solution. 
So the main ingredient in our proof is the precise description of the spectrum of the linear operator. So in the radio sector, we can we are able to compute the spectrum of the linear operator uh, based on the partial mass system. So in particular, the linear operator is self joined in the some weighted uh, L2 space, and the eigenvalue we are able to compute at the leading order given by this formula. And we see here we have some block correction here. And actually, this one is really important uh, to compute the law of the flower. And the eigen function, the eigen function is given by this formula. Formally, you can understand at the following. This you can you can see you can solve the eigen problem uh, by using the not uh, by using the Neumann not normal expansion, and this uh, interactive profile is defined by this one. And uh, the the con to compute the precisely the 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 eigen value. We need to rely on some sort of the real as matching and synthetic expansion plus uh, expensive functional theorem to compute the eigen, the precisely the eigen value. And for the non real, for the non real part, we rely on two observations. So the first observation is that the linear operator can be written uh, of this form, where we rely on a spectral structure coming from the linear right of the free energy functional around the stationary solution. And the second observation is that the linear right operator can be written of this form where we consider the non-local the non-local term like perturbation, where the as news it can be written in divergent form. Okay. So from these two observations we combine it uh, together and we end up with uh, the well adapted scalar product and we can prove uh, we are able to prove the cursivity under some orthogonal condition given by this one so we as so now we know that we have the detail spectrum in the radio sector we have the the cursivity for the non real part so this means that we are able to control the remainder so but first how about the approximate solution so from the detailed description of the spectrum of the linear operator, we are able to refine further the approximate solution. So it means that we take the approximate solution of the same similar version given by at the linear order by the scaling stationary solution. And we need to add a, a modification. And this part is very important that will give you the law of the flower. And when you plug in this and that to the self similar equation and you project onto the, the eigen mode, you will end up with with this ODE leading ODE. For n equal to one, we will obtain this law. So when you come back to the original variable t, you will obtain exactly the plot law given in the stay in the theorem. And for n greater than two, we end up with this ODE. And uh, you, you can see here, this, this one given by, you see this is the eigenvalue, the almost zero eigenvalue. And this one is the, the n eigenvalue of the, of the, of the linear right operator. So the next step, how can we control the remainder? When we had a, a good approximate solution, a good candidate for the profile. So how can we control the remainder? So the equation satisfied by remainder given by this, this one. So here we have some sort of small linear term and nonlinear term, but because the, the remainder is equal to zero, so the fact a small linear term and nonlinear term can be negligible. So this means that the linear, the linear part play important to control the remainder. Okay, so to control the remainder, we, we decompose the solution in two parts, the radio part and the non radio part. For the, for the radio part, we use the partial mass system. For the non radio part, we rely on the co uh, we just derived uh, before. So you see, for the, for the radio part, up to some orthogonal condition, we have the spectrograph. 
and then if you see at the linear level you can easily obtain this uh, this formula in L2 in the weighted L2 space you can join the radial part here this uh, the general error coming from the, the approximate solution and for the non real part you see we have a causality and it's very easy to obtain this formula rely on the causality uh, estimate I just showed you before and of course here we need to take care about the nonlinear analytic uh, but here the, the two part is a crucial in our analysis and then we can use some bottle reality to obtain um, the, the the control in L infinity and then we can close the nonlinear analysis but uh, I would not mention here so so we have shown you the 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 constructive approach uh, for the assistant for the plot solution and also give you uh, the idea how to prove the stability of the plot solution based on a spectrum analysis or energy method or combination of the two methods uh, for the complicated problem like LSE again and that that two interesting problem that uh, we are on progress is about the description of the multiple collapse phenomena or so-called introduction of the multi soliton and the challenging question about the classification of the own possible plot dynamic and actually we have some uh, some uh, advanced progress in the described collision or multiple collapse in the galaxy game okay so uh, thank you very much for your nice talk